All right, this is a huge VHS and CD update video for today. And I got a lot of awesome new CDs and a lot of awesome new tapes. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the CDs I got this time. So we'll just kind of go through these uh, quickly. So here we go. Yeah, this looks pretty cheesy. <laughs> yeah, this one definitely intrigued me, so I figured I would pick it up and uh, just listen to it and see what it is. <laughs> so yeah, thought that thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> so yeah. Turn the fan right there. Yeah, I, I had to get this uh, soundtrack pretty much for the uh, the uh, Dracula's Lament song because I uh, I wanted that for my uh, for my Halloween uh, playlist that I have on my uh, on my on my iPod Touch. So yeah, had to get it for that song alone, and I I do like how the spine on this is the patriotic colors. You see the red, white. And blue. Thought that was thought that's a nice touch as well.
yeah, and for some reason the label's all, like, messed up on mine. As you can see, like, the L is missing right there, and pretty much most of the track names are, uh, are missing. Except for these couple right down here, and even that one's, like, partially cut. See, I don't know why, like, half of the text on the label is missing on, on, uh, mine. That's kind of weird. But, uh, I did, I have, I did already test the CD out, and it does still play. And I was able to, uh, make a copy of it and send it to, uh, my friend Punk Nerd, who wanted me to get him some of the, uh, few askew movie soundtracks. So now this is my, this is my first one. Hope to, uh, get the rest at some point. So yeah, the label's all messed up on this one for some reason. But the CD does play, so that's good. So yeah. Yeah, I do want to start, uh... I do want to start picking up some, uh, some Disney, uh, soundtracks. Or at least the, the soundtracks to all the, uh, like, animated, uh, Disney films. Especially since I already have those, uh, those Disney, uh, like, sampler discs, which are, uh, sort of hidden back there. <laughs> I also got another one. This one was... This one came uh, sealed when I first got it. I'll keep the light on. This is an FYE, this was an FYE exclusive, as you can see right there. Yeah, this is a pretty cool compilation of uh, some of Guy Fieri's uh, favorite, like, road traveling songs. So there's a lot of good ones on here. Yeah, this was a pretty cool CD. And, uh, yeah, my, my, uh, 
My parents uh, do watch the uh, diners, uh, drive-ins and dives uh, show on Food Network a lot when it uh, when it airs in uh, reruns. So yeah, as well as uh, as well as guys' uh, grocery games. This is now my second Grammy nominees CD. First one being the 2006 nominees, which is right there. So yeah, it's now my second one. Comes with does come with this thing, and there's that. All right, and then up next, up next I got three, three more Jimmy Buffett uh, CDs. Uh, well, although te technically, well, there's three CDs, but there's four albums, and you'll see what I mean in a second. And this next one is another one from the uh, two-on-one uh, collection series. This one being A1A and Volcano. Yep, as you may know, uh, about a couple weeks ago, I... It was... Yeah, I think it was two or three weeks ago, I believe. I got another one of the uh, Jimmy Buffett two-on-ones, which was... Uh, Son of a Son of a Sailor and Coconut Telegraph, which is right there. Yep, you can see that. And now I have this this one too, which again has A1A and Volcano. So cool to get another one of these two-on-ones.
All right. And now the last C that I got, uh, this is something that uh, I mentioned in my CD collection video that I was looking for this, and now I finally have it. Yeah, if uh, if you guys watched my uh, my newest uh, CD collection video, uh, you know that I mentioned that uh, I was really wanting to get this for my not only for my Weird Al collection, but also for my Essential album collection. And now I finally have it. <laughs> yep. Songs on disc one. And there's the songs on disc two. So yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely a new, a new gem in my, uh, my, uh, Essential, uh, CD collection. Right up there with my Essential Fishbone CD, which is right there. So yeah. So, yeah. And here's disc one and disc two. So, there you go. Okay. So, that's the, all the CDs that I got. So, uh, Punk Nerd, if you're watching, let me know if you want any of those, and I will gladly, uh, make copies of them and uh, send them to you. All right, so now onto the VHS, which I'm just gonna move these over a little bit. There we go. All right, so onto the VHS tapes that I got. Start with the one clamshell that I got. This is another, uh, and this is a Anchor Bay uh, uh, cl clamshell tape. And it's another one of the ones with the reversible artwork. It's from the adventure genre. So, yep. Yep. Distributed by Anchor Bay Entertainment. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure my friends Will and Sa I'm sure, uh, Will and Sam will, uh, enjoy, uh, seeing this. <laughs> yep, and this is one of the Disney films that, uh, Anchor Bay, uh, released on VHS. This is, an, and this is from 1999. And it's in, a. It's in a purple clamshell, kind of like my black hole VHS tape that I have from Anchor Bay. The 54th day of 1999. Yep. Now so that's the one and only clamshell that I got. Now onto the slip covers, which I got a bunch of them. Yeah, this, uh, this appears to be from a local Rochester, uh, news channel. It's probably, like, a public access channel they had or something. I thought this, I thought this was pretty cool, since it is a, since it is a local release. You see, it's got the oversized reels.
and it's a little it's a little chipped right down there at the bottom but i'm sure this tape will still play all right up, up next i got two the next two tapes i got are buffalo bills tapes which both of these are by polygram video This is from 1997. No print date, and this tape is an EP mode. At least appears to be an EP mode. And here's the other one, the other Buffalo Bills tape that I got. This is from 1994. Also no print date, and again, this appears to be an EP mode. So yeah, uh, so I figured I would figured I would get those since the uh, Buffalo Bills are one of my favorite uh, sports teams. Although I, although I do like the Philadelphia Eagles a little bit better, but Buffalo the the Bills are cool too in my opinion. So I figured I would get those. All right, up next are three Christmas tapes that I got. This is, this is a promotional copy, apparently. For promotional use only, not for resale. This is a 1994... 1994 release by Broadway Video. And co-produced by Drive Entertainment. No print date on this once again. Get rid of whatever that is. This next one is another Blockbuster Classics uh, tape.
1951 film and originally 1987 VHS, but this is a 1994 re-release. So cool to have another one from the Blockbuster Classics uh, collection. And I do, yes, I do also have the uh, Good Times uh, print of this movie, which I might replace that with this print. <laughs> So yeah, I might, uh, I think I might, I might, uh, donate my Good Times, uh, home video copy and just keep this print instead. Print on October 7th, 1994. And... It's got these printings on the side right there. All right, and this this next one is one that uh, I've had without the case for the longest time, and now I have a copy with the case finally. <laughs> has the THX logo on there, but the logo does not actually appear on the tape. So yeah, I do have a caseless copy of this, but now I finally have a copy with the case. Yep, this is 2003 release. So I'm very happy to finally have this one with with the with the case finally. Yep, it's got the blue lid and the black reels. Number fifty six, and the print date is October first, two thousand three. And also, this is a retail copy, whereas my old copy was a blockbuster rental copy. So that's even so, that's, so that makes this even better, in my opinion. Okay, now on to a few music tapes that I got. This is from some company called Private Music Video. This is from 1994. And it says, uh, it says, Yanni live at the Acropolis, also available on private music, CDs, cassettes, and laser discs. <laughs> yeah, which I might, which I might get the CD of this as well at some point. This actually has two day and year codes. Uh, this one right, this one right here says the 313th day of 1994, and then right here on the side says the 315th day of 1994. So that's interesting. Oh, and uh, I just got a email notification about uh, the la the last thing that I'm going to show you. So yeah, kind of interesting that it has a day and year code right here and on the side. Okay. And these next two are from CMV Enterprises.
This one was in the shrink grab. This one had this one was in the shrink grab when I got, but the bottom part was chopped open. Here's the list of songs. Uh, this is from 1989. No print date. This is from 1990. It's got somebody's address sticker there on the side, which I didn't notice until now. And once again, no print date. Um, next, I got two uh, demo tape screener copies. Yeah, the, the next two are demo tapes. I've never heard of this movie until I got it. But cool to have another demo tape for the uh, collection. This one's got, this one's got somebody's address on the back right there. Here's the full info. Pause the video if you want to read that. January 15th, 1997. And it has the film camera on tripod sticker. This, ne this next one's a 2005 Paramount uh, screener tape. Oh, it does say right there. Yes, as you can see, this one says available on DVD only. So this is one of those ones that uh, never got a 
official VHS release, only a DVD cool. release. There's the DVD stock number. So yeah, I think this is my first uh, available on DVD only uh, one. I think. I think, I think this is my first uh, Paramount screener tape from 2005 to have the available on DVD only uh, notice. Which I know uh, the video lover has uh, a few that are like that. So yeah. Order cut off May 3rd, 2005. Street date was June 14th, 2005. Yep. Also, if you just want to read all of that. USA and Canadian ratings pending. The sixth week of 2005. Okay, we've got a few more tapes left to go. Up next, uh, this is also for uh, Will and Sam, if you guys are watching, which I know they are. Uh, I got two, yes, two, count them, one, two, two more Video Treasures tapes. So here we go, here's the first one. Notice on the back of this one, the Video Treasures logo was in kind of a kind of a weird uh, font right there. This one's duplicated in SP mode. The 136th day of 1996, even though this is originally a 1989 VHS, so it's obviously a later reprint. And yes, I do know that this uh, film was later re-released by uh, MGM in the MGM uh, Contemporary Classics uh, collection, which uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't really collect the uh, Contemporary Classics uh, tapes like I do the Movie Time tapes and the other ones but uh but yeah so i think i'll just uh i think for right now i'll just stick to the uh to this uh this really cool video treasures print and this next one's another one from the new colorized version collection This is from 1987. And yeah, if you're wondering if you're wondering why the label's taped and why the tape shell looks newer and why it's got that right there, uh, it's because uh, when I bought this tape, uh, 
the original shell that this uh, came in was uh, kind of uh, was kind of crushed. Like this, like this whole like corner right here was like kind of like smushed a little bit, and it was all kind of like warped and stuff. So it looked like so it was like it was either it was either warped or got like melted or something or yeah the shell was all kind of like messed up like right here on this on this whole part right here so this so the shell looked a little weird uh it did still i mean it, it did still i was still able to play it in my uh, vcr but uh i figured since it was kind of uh since it was kind of messed up i figured i would just uh just make it lot make it look a lot just put in a shell that looks a lot uh, nicer so, so yeah i just put this into a better uh tape shell using a spare tape that i had and yes it's got the oversized reels i almost forgot to mention that so yeah that's why the uh tape looks like this now but yeah so very cool Cool to get two two more Video Treasures uh, tapes from my uh, collection. See, I don't know if I don't know if those are ones that uh, Will and Sam uh, have already. I guess I'll find out on probably find out on Friday. All right, we got four more tapes. No print dates again. Okay. Yep, another one from the uh, Republic Pictures, uh, Little Rascal, uh, VHS, uh, series that I did not yet have. Yep, it says, Our Gang Flies in 1936 in the Awful Tooth. Uh, Our Gang Flies in 1936 is a 1935 short, and the Awful Tooth is a 1938 short. And this is a 1989 VHS. No print date, and it is recorded on a Maxell tape. Okay, and now the last two tapes are I got are MGM tapes. This next this next one is uh, an Elvis one from the Elvis commemorative collection series. Yep, I do already have the MGMUA Movie Time print of this film, but I decided to also get the Elvis Commemorative Collection print as well. So I do want to get all of the uh, all all of the uh, Elvis Commemorative Collection releases, include include and yes, include including the including the three that uh, were also released in the uh, Movie Time Collection, which were this. Frankie and Johnny, and uh, Follow That Dream, which I do have the movie time prints of all three of those, and I do have the uh, commemorative collection print of uh, Frankie and Johnny, so I still gotta get the commemorative collection print of Follow That Dream. Yep, rear behind-the-scenes rear behind photo on the set with some 
Adoring Child co-stars. And you can pause the video if you want to read any of that. All right. And 1967 film, and this is a nice, nice 7 VHS. This is a, and this contains the original theatrical trailer. This is an MGN Way home videotape co-produced by United Artists. June 18th, 1997. Okay. And now, the last VHS that I gotta show, that I have to show you guys, uh, this is a MGM Midnight Movies tape, and this is one I actually got from, in the mail from eBay. Uh, today or yesterday at the time you guys are seeing this video so yeah this is one that i got in the mail from ebay and uh this is one i've been wanting to get to my to replace my embassy home entertainment uh print and uh i got it today from ebay and this was factory sealed but i already uh opened it Pause the, pause the video right here if you want to read the fun facts. So, yep. Uh, this is a 1965 film, and this is a 2000 VHS. See, it has a bit of the MGM, MGM logo on the tape, which, that, which that's on the uh, shrink wrap, but it stuck to the uh, tape right there. It's because it's been around. Probably because it's been around for a long time. Print date is April twenty seventh, two thousand. And I did check the openings of this tape, and it does have the. Uh, this does have the MGM means great movies promo at the beginning, as well as the PinkPanther.com uh, promo as well. So yeah, so I, like I said, I've been wanting to get I've been wanting to get this uh, Midnight Movies uh, print of Village of the Giants for a while to replace my Embassy Home Entertainment uh, copy, and now I finally did. And actually, and here is here is my uh, Embassy Home Entertainment copy, which I got back in I believe in 2017. So, yep. So yeah, I can finally replace this with that. So that's cool. So yeah, I'm just going to probably donate that tape and keep this. So yeah, that's awesome. All right. Hopefully, so that is it for this uh, huge update video. There you go. There's all the tapes and all the... Okay, actually. Right, get this. Uh... So there you go. Here's all the tapes. Just give you a quick overview of them. And here's all the CDs. I know a couple of these have spines that are backwards, but okay, but oh well. So yeah, very awesome haul that I got. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this huge update video. Hope you enjoyed this, and stay tuned for whatever my next video is going to be. 
which might be, will most likely be a new update video, but might be something else. You never know. All right, so that's it, and see you next time. As I always say, have a good one, guys. Peace.